So Liverpool 2 was five years in the planning, but it all came together that day when the cranes arrived through the fog from China. They've arrived, we're here. We now can compete with our southern counterparts and accommodate the largest container vessels from anywhere in the world. Very, uh, very proud moment, because they were our little babies that we've been working on for so long and then to actually see them in Liverpool, yeah, it was, it was uh, really amazing. It's really exciting to see the cranes get delivered. It takes us to that next milestone in the project and it pushes us ever closer to being operational. During the whole construction process, We've had a wide team of engineers working as commissioning engineers over in Shanghai at two different sites, uh, Shangzing Base and Nantong, and that was to oversee the construction and build of the cranes to make sure they met the Peel Port's specification and quality that we require. These key cranes are the tallest single hoist key cranes currently in operation. Uh, that's due to the nature of the river and the tidal range that we'll be able to service these vessels in. From the offloading, um, it was amazing watching the, the speed at which the cranes come off. It was at under 20 minutes. Fantastic the way they pull these big 1,600 tonne cranes off onto the rails and then you jack, jack them up and lower them down. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a, an amazing feat of engineering, it really has. While we're at Liverpool now, uh, the mission will, will take place, which will involve powering all the systems up with the cranes. Uh, that would be a really good time to see the actual cranes moving, see the moving boxes around and getting everyone on the site familiar with the movements of these large cranes. Next stage of this project is I'll be travelling out to China to final commission test the CRMGs, batch of CRMGs that are close to being loaded onto a vessel to be shipped around to the Liverpool 2 project. Very proud moment, i uh, very proud that we've been involved um, getting these cranes commissioned over in China and then seeing them in Liverpool, it's, uh, it's very emotional, it really was. A picture speaks a thousand words and behind me are the new cranes for the L2. In a few weeks time, Liverpool will once again be able to compete on the global stage, helping the region and the UK as a whole and drive the Northern Powerhouse.